gas or electric tankless water heaters. Which is better for you? That's what we're gonna help you answer in today's video. So stick around because although the end goal is similar in terms of endless hot water, these two types of water heaters are still very different. <laughs> For over 15 years here at Monkey Ranch, we've installed countless gas and electric tankless water heaters in Los Angeles and the surrounding areas. So we'll be able to share some of that valuable insight with you here today as we answer, what are the differences between gas and electric tankless water heaters? And our take on which one we think is a better fit for most homeowners. Hey, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing as we're constantly adding new videos on all things plumbing, heating and air. Electric and gas powered tankless water heaters can have similar outward appearances and are designed to provide a home with hot water. The main difference between these two water heaters is their power source. Looking a bit closer, here are some of the key differences between them starting with initial cost. Electric tankless water heaters can be cheaper initially. The price range you're looking at including installation is between 1800 and 7200. On the other hand, gas tankless water heaters can range between 4800 to 8500. The next notable difference we gotta take a look at is the cost effectiveness. Electric tankless water heaters are also usually less expensive. They are smaller units and since there's no gas, there's no ventilation needed. Often an electric tankless unit can go in a space as compact as a closet, but you can also find electric tankless water heaters that fit underneath your kitchen sink. However, operating costs are much more than gas thinking long term. Next up, let's talk about insulation. When it comes to insulation, gas-powered tankless water heaters require more work to install. A home's venting and gas lines play a big role in where a tankless water heater is installed. The installation requires adequate ventilation and access to gas lines, which can add to the complexity and cost. On the other hand, electric tankless water heaters have fewer technical requirements, making them more accessible for DIY installations or less complicated professional installations. Maintenance. Electric tankless water heaters need very little maintenance. The system only needs to be flushed annually to remove lime scale buildup. On the other hand, gas tankless water heaters need a little more attention besides an annual heater flush. Gas tankless water heaters require additional maintenance that should be serviced by a professional. Water flow, also known as flow rate, is essential for ensuring a consistent and comfortable supply of hot water while optimizing energy efficiency and cost effectiveness. The flow rates of electric and gas tankless water heaters can differ based on their models and heating capacities. In general, gas tankless water heaters tend to offer higher flow rates compared to electric ones. Here's why. Gas tankless water heaters typically have higher heating capacities, allowing them to provide hot water faster at a higher flow rate. This is particularly useful for homes with multiple simultaneous hot water demands, such as running multiple showers or appliances. Gas tankless water heaters can produce hot water with flow rates ranging from 5 to 10 gallons per minute or more, depending on the unit's size and design. Some high capacity gas models can provide even greater flow rates, thanks to the efficient combustion and heating enabled by natural gas or propane. In comparison, electric tankless water heaters have lower heating capacities due to the limitations of electric heating elements, which are typically less powerful than gas burners. They come in various sizes and heating capacities, with flow rates ranging from 2 to 5 GPM for standard models. Some larger or more powerful electric tankless units may offer higher flow rates, but they are still limited compared to gas models. Select a tankless water heater with a flow rate that matches your hot water needs. Consider the number of fixtures and appliances that might use hot water simultaneously in your home to make the right choice. So now that we've compared these factors, we believe that gas tankless water heaters are the clear winner here. In our opinion, due to the rate at which water is heated, not that the electricity is low, but because gas power systems can provide a higher flow rate and are generally more efficient in delivering hot water on demand. This makes them a popular choice for households with high hot water demands or those seeking energy savings in the long run. However, it's important to consider the specific needs and circumstances for your home before making a decision. If you live in California, it's worth noting that the state is attempting to ban the sale of gas tankless water heaters by the year of 2030. That doesn't mean you'll have to return or buy a new one if you already have one, but by 2030 you might not be able to get a new one, something to consider if this ban does go in place. If you found any of the information in this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all our future videos.